Hello students, once again I welcome you all to Meso study. So we are discussing some questions which are important as per your need is considered and we are discussing about the chapter strategies for the enhancement of food production. In total I am going to discuss total 10 questions. Those 10 questions I have chosen from different part of this particular chapter. Some are with the help of a plant tissue culture because and second from the, second from the animal husbandry. In the whole chapter or the session we have discussed how we can improve the plant product, even how we can improve our livestock that we have already studied. Now I will discuss the question side by side. My motive of taking such 10 questions is that these 10 questions first of all they are important. I am not saying they will directly come into a NEET exam, I am just saying that the such type of questions will be asked in the next NEET question, next NEET questions. So let's discuss with the first question. Choose a set of the bacterial disease in poultry. As they are asking about some of the disease which is because of the bacteria. And I have to choose the two important bacterial disease as per the poultry animals they are considered. When we talk about the first option, out of these first option, the Ranicate this is a viral disease this is a viral disease so this option is wrong right we have to look for the both in which they should be uh, bacterial this is a bacterial disease whereas this is also a bacterial disease this is also a viral disease we know that let us look for the C option, foul cholera and infectious coryzae. These are what? These both are bacteria. So, the option 3 is correct one. Similarly, when we talk about the D option, this is because of the fungi. This is because of the fungi. Now, let us read the question again. They said that we have to choose the correct option, which is because of the disease, which is because of the bacteria. Ranicate and the mark, these are nothing, these are just a viral diseases, but we are considering here only bacterial diseases. Similarly, the question, option B, Ranicate and the foul cholera, this is a bacterial whereas that is a viral one. In the C option, both of these, they are bacterial disease, aflatoxin, this is a fungi disease. So, the correct option for the question number 1 is a C option is a correct one, right. We have already discussed about what are the problems which are associated with the poultry. So this is how they can ask some questions from this chapter only. So this was the first question, hope this first question is clear to you. Let us move on to next question. By the time let me prepare board for you. Now read the question, fish selected for culture practices must possess some feature to make culture profitable and identify the wrong one. Means what we are going for, we are going for the culturing of fish. That means what we want, we want a fish in a bulk amount. And we know that why fish is important for, fish is important for the protein. Let us look for the option, then we will judge that which one is the right and which one is not right. A fast growth rate, yes. the. Fishes, they should have a fast growth rate. This is important. They should be there when we talk about the fish culture. When there is a fast growth rate is there, that means healthy offsprings they will be produced, healthy uh, finger, uh, this finger links they will be produced and heavy uh, or you can say a good quality fishes will be produced that will be having a good amount of the protein. Late maturity. Late maturity, is that reason? No, not at all. Because if they will mature later in their life, there are chances that the reproduction rate will be low. So, because of the rate, late maturity, late maturity, reproduction rate will be low. When reproduction rate is low, in that cases, the number of the uh, finger links which are produced will be less. So, less fingerlings 
less finger links we will be produce less will be produced we will not be able to culture properly we will not be able to get that much amount of uh, you can say the fishes which we are which we are looking for similarly the c indicate the disease resistance yes our fishes should be disease resistance like our case in our case we are exposed to bacterial diseases we are exposed to viral diseases similarly in the case of fishes also the bacterial diseases are there the viral diseases are there so they should be resistance to such type of bacterial as well as viral diseases next is the high nutritious value yes more nutritious value that means more the culture the culture should be the culture will be healthy that culture will be healthy that means more economic that particular culture will be so the correct option that it should not be there that is a late maturity we have to look for those fishes which mature at an early stage so the correct option is a b late maturity now Hisar dale is obtained by crossing off a very common question very easy and a direct question no need to go into the uh, uh, in here and there the correct answer is bicanary use with merino rams now in this question one twist is there students might get confused regarding the option b and the d can you see this option is somehow similar to the option d yes they are similar but the difference is that instead of merino use over written over here the merino rams are there so this is quite confusing so students whenever you are reading something just write down side by side just write it once twice thrice then only you will be able to learn all those things otherwise once you have read this okay this is the this is the case and you know that because of the hybridization between the bicanary and the merino and his ardales they are produced no this not this should not be the case you should write down each and everything once twice and read that again and again and again i'm telling you because whenever you'll slip from a single word you'll be negative with four marks so this was the for the question number 3 the correct option is a d now let's talk about the next question in which method of animal breeding now they are discussing about the animal breeding in which method of animal breeding the two different species of the male and the female animals they are mated now what are they saying <coughs> they are saying they have two species species a and species b we have two species out of these two species they said that in which of the methods animal breeding the two different species one of female or the male are the mated suppose i have male for species 1 and a female for species 2 what i do i prepare one breeding experiment and what i'll get is a hybrid hybrid of what hybrid of a and b why we go for this hybridization experiment so that whatever the good qualities which is there in the species a whatever the good qualities whatever the good gene which is there in the species b they should come in that hybrid so this is the major reason why we go for a hybridization experiment in this experiment because we are dealing with the two different species species a and the species b now what is the name that can be given to such type of hybridization that is called as inter specific hybridization inter specific hybridization that means between the member of two different species when we talk about the hybridization in case of the members of a same species this means members of different species different species and when we talk about the hybridization between the members of same species that is called as intra specific hybridization that means this is a type of hybridization between members of same 
species members of same same species this is called as a intra specific hybridization now come back to the question they are asking about the two different species of males and the females that directly indicate that this is a inter specific hybridization right correct option is option number b intra specific uh, inter specific hybridization so hope the two words inter and the intra is clear to you now let's talk about the another question fifth question this was asked in neat 2016 i guess this question now let's see a cell at telophase stage is observed by the student in a plant brought from the field he calls his teacher that this cell is not like that of other cells at the telophase stage there is no formation of a cell plate and thus the cell is containing more number of chromosome as compared to other dividing cells this would be now what he saw he saw that the cell plate was not there that means in this cases the cytokinesis is not happening another important reason another important thing was that they said that he observed that they were having a more number of the chromosome now come at this side we are discussing about a cell and that cell is at telophase sorry he discovered that this particular cell he has studied he said that in that cell he saw that the number of chromosome they were comparatively higher as compared to the another cell which was which is having a uh, different chromosome or uh, as compared to the another cell which is having at the telophase stage when we talk about the cell when cell has to divide it divide by two process one is called as a karyokinesis and another is called as a cytokinesis karyokinesis means division of the nucleus that means whatever which is present in the side the nucleus either the dna that will replicate and that will divide that means the chromosome number they will double itself and later on they will migrate towards the each and every cell now they said that cytokinesis is not happening that means cell plate formation is not happened cell plate formation is not happened that means that cell will be having the double number of the chromosome double more than double three times four times five times six time number of the chromosome they have because that cell has not undergone the cytokinesis the cell plate formation has not taken place so what has happened instead of having a single set of the chromosome or the two set of the chromosome if it is a diploid then there are chances that the three set of the chromosomes they are present the four set may be present five set or a six set may be present this is because the cytokinesis has not happened in that case is when the chromosome number is more than two set that is called as condition is called as a polyploidy that is because of called as a polyploidy now so the correct option is a polyploidy that means having more than two set of chromosomes more than two set of the chromosome right that means as a cell has not divided yet so this is condition is called as a polyploidy let's talk about in case of the wheat for example wheat scientific name triticum estivum and in this case we can see that a hexaploid condition is seen that is 6x or 6n whatever you want you can write that is a six set of that particular chromosome is present that is in case of the wheat triticum estivum so this was the fifth question the correct answer is option number a called as a polyploidy hope this question is clear to you let's talk about the next question question number 6 now this question states 
to obtain virus free healthy plants from a diseased one by tissue culture techniques which part or the parts of the diseased plant will be taken now we have we have to go for the plant tissue culture experiment in that cases if a plant is diseased one we go for the apical meristem only now why we go for apical meristem the reason is that they act as interferon now why i am calling it as a interferon it's just that the covering which is present surrounding it they do not allow the pathogen to enter into it have strong covering outside the cells layer which do not allow pathogen to enter which do not allow the pathogen to enter this is the reason why we always go for apical meristem only so the for the question number 6 the correct option is a next we have is the seventh question in a plant breeding programs entire collection of plant trees having all the diverse alleles for the all the gene in a given crop is called as this uh, uh, this was the whole method of uh, producing any kind of uh, uh, new recombinant uh, you can say plant in that condition what we go for first of all the first condition that i have told you that is a collection of the germplasm now what is germplasm that means we have to collect all the desired not only the desired even those alleles of that particular varieties that is called as a their germplasm in this case is it is written over here that means we have to collect entire collection of all the diverse alleles of a gene if a given crop that means either these particular genes they are in a one form or you can say some wild varieties are there some are which are developed by the breeder also likewise we have studied the different alleles they are there and these varieties some breeders and some commonly available some which are having a high yield some provide disease resistance all the different alleles they are collected later on out of those different alleles we only look for our desired gene that is called as a germplasm the whole collection that we go for before going for a hybridization experiment that is called as a germplasm uh, collection so the correct option for the seventh question is a c a indicate cross hybridization among the selected parent no this will be done only after the collection of all the desired alleles evaluation and the selection of the parents this will be done only after the selection of the germplasm and selection of the superior recombinant this is also not the part so the for the question number 7 the correct option is a germplasm collection hope the things are clear to you now wonder wheat is a new wheat variety developed by let's discuss about the wonder wheat first what is wonder wheat wonder wheat is that wheat whose yield is around 18 tons per hectare 18 tons per hectare and one more important thing that i would like to discuss about the wonder wheat is that when we see the number of grains per stalk that is also very high that is around 200 200 grains per stalk this is also a very good number the whole two number they are very good number as per the green revolution is considered so the wonder wheat is a very important wheat 
it was first of all developed by the Mexico International Wheat and the Maize Improvement Center. Right? This you have to remember. That's for the question number 8, the Wonder Wheat. This is developed by the Mexico's International Wheat and Maize Improvement Center. Correct option A. As per the question, A it is considered. Now, let's talk about ninth question. By which of the following methods new and the better varieties of the plant can be obtained? Now, let's understand this. Suppose I have one variety. This is a variety A and this is a variety B. If I say about the variety A, this particular variety, this is having high yield, they are having high yield, high yield is there, whereas no insect resistance is there, no insect resistance is there. Whereas, the variety B, I can, uh, if I say in these cases, if, if in this cases, suppose in variety B, the low yield is there and have insect resistance, insect resistance is there. What I want that in the hybrid, in the future generation, what I want that I want a, that particular type of product in that high yield should be there, high yield should be there, simultaneously there should be insect resistance. Now, how will I proceed? I will proceed because from this, from variety 1, I need this, from variety 2, I need this. Now, how will I proceed? I will bring about the hybridization experiment between the variety A and the variety B. Suppose the thousand number of the seeds they are produced, thousand number of the seeds they are produced, out of these uh, thousand, I have to select select desired character. I have to select a desired character that it which of the following seed our desired character that means high resistance and high yield is there. I will look for suppose out of these only one will be having one our desired character. Out of these one what I will make I will make a copy of these. And I am producing the copy of it is very easy by self pollination process. I can produce a copy of it. Now, what I have done? First of all, I have planned one hybridization between these. This is what? Hybridization. And after hybridization, what I have done is a selection of a desired character. That means I have selected those desired character which I am looking for. So, this is the whole basis of you can say the hybridization experiment first hybridization and second selection. Now, come back to the question. By which of the following methods new and the better varieties of the plant can be performed? Yes, selection is a method, but they should be followed by the hybridization. First, we have, what we have to go for? Selection of the germplasm, collection of the germplasm, sorry, then hybrid, selection of the parents, then hybridization experiment and then selection. This is also a right option, this is a wrong option. But when we talk about the option D which indicate hybridization followed by the selection, this seems to be more correct and more precise. So, while performing any of the question, while attempting any of the question, do this thing in mind, 
mind must read all the question as per this particular uh, this uh, is considered when we ha you have only four option i'm not saying in that cases when you have a column one and the column two in that cases you can skip one option because if you are getting a answer from the three points and we you can see a desirable change within the option one and two and the three you can go for you can uh, go for uh, without you can go to the next question without reading the next option but in this case don't go for uh, uh, don't go for any other option otherwise if i'll in hurry what i'll do i'll read the question what i'll do yes selection is the right one that after the selection that uh, i'll get the desired or sometimes some of the students will write hybridization they will go to a, okay hybridization this is a right hybridization occur but out of these the most correct is a hybridization followed by the selection this is how you can proceed correct option for the question number 9 is a d option now the name norman burlog is associated with the norman e borlog norman e borlog n e borlog is associated majorly with green revolution right very common name very easy question and this was asked in some of previous year neat exam so the uh, correct option is option number a now this is a universal one now tell me one thing who is the father of indian green revolution father of indian green revolution who is the father father is ms swami nathan ms swami nathan this is also very important ms ms swami nathan is father of indian green revolution ms swami nathan so the correct option for the question number 10 is a green revolution option number a hope students all of these questions the 10 questions they are clear to you don't stop here practice more and more more and more questions more you will practice more you will attain success very fast because neat the next year neat exam is not very far it's near only you have only countable days plan accordingly revise the questions again and again and again watch lectures again and again make notes by yourself with or oh, with your own pen and paper write down everything read that again and again if you are not able to learn anything just read that again and again prepare cheats for that i'm not saying the prepare cheats i'm not saying that i'm saying prepare cheats how you can remember that any place where you go frequently like your table uh, you used to suppose you want you used to sit on the chair and the table what you can do make a separate chart of it stick that particular chart suppose you are not able to remember these fathers you are not able to remember some of the important scientist how what you can do make a chart stick over there read that again and again and again i'm sure within one or two days you will be able to, you will be thorough with all those things nothing is impossible says uh, nothing is impossible even impossible says i am possible so thank you so much students for watching this we'll meet in next session